open than a century old, but still one of the best around as you get a great look at Fenway Park here in Boston. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Boston Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen welcoming you into another edition of Baseball on the Show. I'll be joined in the boot short. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen.
hit hard on the ground is short. Rowe not nearly in time as he reaches it first. And the key to this is that he's running hard out of the batter's box all the way. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. All right, folks. Montage alert. Here you get a look at his performance so far. Ten strikeouts for him in the ball game as he continues to just plow right through this lineup one after another. Strikeout here, his 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Justin Hampton will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now a shot to center field. Back goes to center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. Talk about a feast or famine inning. It's not about this sequence. Strikeout, strikeout, home run. <laughs> you can never take anything for granted in this game. And he'll take strike three ball. Making three straight punch outs now on the mound. One away. Yeah, making three straight strikeouts. Another one two delivery. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go, right there. A big goose egg in that hit column. For the right-hander deals on one and two. Now a fastball, and he knocks this one into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. And the pitch. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. If you're a fan of pitching, this has been the game for you. I mean, these two guys have both been exceptional so far. Just two runs allowed between both of them. And of course, makes the broadcasters awfully happy because this game has flown by. Here it comes. Fastball that's wrapped down to left center, and this is going to get down for a base hit. As far as we check on his numbers to this point, he's pretty much been in control all afternoon, so we'll see if he can keep that string of zeros going. And he struck him out. 16 for the ball game, and the inning is over. Brewer strand one. They trail it here, two to nothing. Only one walk so far. That's a little bit surprising. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Another guy retired there. You see his pitching line to this point. It's phenomenal. Just two hits. Both of them are singles. He's hardly even been in trouble. Thorough domination. So here's starting to loosen up. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Well, the strikeout pitch has certainly been there for him all afternoon, and this, in fact, is the third time he's victimized this guy. And he's got another one. 19 for the ball game, and that'll end the inning with a flourish. Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail things here, two to nothing. He is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number nine. The 
but that pitch right there was never going to be a strike. Got him for an even 20 strikeouts now thus far, as he's just been flat on hittable. Yeah, he just keeps rolling right along. Shut out attack. You can get a look at his line so far. Through seven and a third innings now, they've just not been able to mount any type of offense against him at all. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw gets him two down. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. 2-0 our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. Struck him out. And a new record. 21 strikeouts in this one. Three up, three down from play. Brandon will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. Oh, and it makes such a difference when that pitch is up a little bit. It's not a bad pitch, really. It's on the outside corner. But that slider is so much easier to handle when it's belt higher. And he's able to just hit it hard the other way. Greg Pulse will get another crack. Thank you. 